instrument that you just heard is a clarinet. It belongs to the woodwind family. It opens one of my favorite pieces of music, Rhapsody in Blue by George Gershwin. So what's a woodwind instrument anyway? Does it have to be made out of wood? And does it need wind to be an instrument? The answers are no, yes, they used to be, and they always have to be. The woodwind instruments actually used to always be made out of wood, but now woodwind instruments can be made out of metal, glass, or wood, or a combination, or even plastic. In fact, I have one right here that's made out of metal and plastic. This is a simple penny whistle. All I need to do is push the air, or wind, you need wind, through this mouthpiece, and then I put my fingers on the holes like this, and it makes music. Okay, so I didn't play a particular song, but it's still music. You can think of a woodwind instrument like this straw. It has opening on each end, and if you bite on the end enough, it's going to be flared a little bit. It'll spread out, and that's called the bell. Well, there are three types of woodwind instruments. One is played where you blow over the opening on one end of the instrument. And the second type is where you insert a small sliver of wood called a reed into the side of the mouthpiece and then you blow over that and that vibration creates a different tone. And the third type is a double reed instrument where there are actually two small pieces of wood which are bound together and blow. So three types. Blow over, blow through one reed, blow through two reeds. Let's look at some instruments. Here's one where the wind blows over the opening for the mouthpiece. This is a flute. The second is an instrument where the wind passes over one reed, like a clarinet or even a saxophone. Remember, the reeds attach to the mouthpiece. On the next couple instruments, the wind passes over two reeds, the oboe, and the bassoon. This is actually two bassoons next to each other. Let's take a look at what a reed really is. It's a very thin piece of wood and that attaches to the mouthpiece. Did you know that some woodwind instruments are even made out of bamboo? It's true. That same bamboo that those cute cuddly little pandas eat in the forest They'll take that bamboo and make a woodwind instrument out of it. What bamboo? This bamboo, flute and cornet. Let's take a moment to review. When you see the picture on screen, say the name of the instrument and if it has a reed or not. But first, what's this? That's right, it's a reed, and it happens to be a bassoon reed. What are these? Two bassoons. Bassoons are double reed instruments. These are special bamboo flutes and cornet. They don't have reeds. And there's my favorite clarinet. It's a single reed instrument. What's she playing? That's right, it's a flute. No reed. And here's a saxophone with a reed. Yep. I could even play these old soda bottles. They could be woodwind instruments too, kind of like the way you play a flute. You put your mouth on it and you blow over the opening. It still makes a sound, so technically it's a woodwind instrument. This one has water in it. This one's empty. If I play them both, which one do you think is going to sound higher? Listen. Higher? Definitely. That's because the water actually makes the air column shorter. 
So smaller things have higher sounds. And longer air columns like this, without any water, the air can go all the way to the bottom. This longer air column would have a lower sound. Short air column, high sound, long and long. The Woodwind family is very neat. I hope that you learned something today and that you'll remember it for at least a little while, if not for a long time. Remember, what you need to make a woodwind instrument is something like a straw, which can act as an air column, and you can blow over the end of it or through it with a reed or a double reed, which is two. And it has to have more than one opening. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.